Which one should John choose? Wait, what? He found himself in the hall with four doors. A zombie, a block equipped with a motion sensor, a dark room with no exit, a laser blaster with motion sensor. Okay, which door should Max choose? That's it! I got it! Wow! Yeah. Today we're seeing if Justin can solve these five riddles. Okay, John is traveling by boat. Okay, that's John. Nice. He's got a map or something. He's off to Africa. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, cool. He's not far from the mainland. Okay. So okay. he's almost there. Suddenly his boat starts to sink. Ayo, he hit something? Uh-oh. There are four islands in front of him. What is this, bro? Is this real geography? He has to choose carefully. What? So his boat's sinking. He'll probably have to stay there for a few days. Wow. Oh. Okay, the first island is inhabited by hungry tigers and lions. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty scary. Second has a volcano that erupts every hour. Every hour! Wow! The third is covered by ice and snow. Okay, those all sound pretty bad. The fourth is inhabited by poisonous mosquitoes. Oh, you get stung like crazy. Okay, wait, all of these are bad, dude. Which island should John choose? What? That's the riddle? That's the <laughs> riddle. Now, guys. His boat's going down. They have to choose one of these islands. Which one should John choose? Wait, what? Now, we're looking at five riddles today. If Justin can get at least three of them correct, I'm going to give you a little bit of a prize. Okay, now this is very tricky, guys. Most of these riddles I know right away, but you guys play along at home. See if you guys can guess the right answer. This is actually tricky. Let me look at the options. We got... Tigers and lions and bears or something. Uh-huh. We got volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Rocky says, my mom's a volcano. Yep, yep. <laughs> we got ice, okay, and yep. we got poisonous mosquitoes. Right, 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 okay. right. Okay, let's let's rewind. Now, this is pretty scary. I, maybe he could go on this one and climb a tree, though, and just chill. Right, but make, wouldn't, make a tree house. wouldn't the lions just shake the tree until he falls? What? Like, if the lions were really hungry, they would do anything to get you How out of the tree. shake a tree? They're strong, they could just run into it. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that's true. This seems possible, he might be able to stay here. Maybe if he's really strong, he can become friends with the lions and tigers, they won't oof him. Yeah, you're friends with Tony the Tiger. That's what I'm saying. From I'm, Frosted Flakes. I hang Flakes. out with him every morning. Mm. Hang out with Tony the Tiger, eat some Frosted Flakes. Yeah. <laughs> They're great! <laughs> true, okay. This is an option, it's not bad. Second is a volcano that erupts every hour. Okay, dude, I'm a genius, bro. I'm a genius, bro. What? I think it's this one. I think he could stand there, chill, and when it erupts, he can go swim and hide in the water and then go back. Mmm, that is pretty smart, but what if the Big lava, mama. what if the lava like oofs everything, including the water around it? It's water. It can't oof the water. <laughs> yeah, but Bing lava is super hot. What? I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a really good idea, though. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. But what if he can't swim? What? What if John can't swim? John can probably swim. Why is he in a boat if he can't swim? You can't swim. <laughs> without your floaties. Yeah. Okay. This is also looking like a decent choice. That might work. So far, both of these are pretty good. Okay. The third is covered by ice and snow. I mean, you could live on that, though. Lots of people live in places where there's ice and snow. Yeah, polar bears, penguins. No, humans. No. You oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean. No, humans. There's lots of places on the planet that are covered by ice and snow. People live there. Right. So that's fine. He can live there. But it might get pretty cold at night. So? And if he's in a boat, he probably doesn't have any coat. He's not in a boat. The boat's sank. Yeah, but he probably doesn't have like a coat or like a tent or anything. He'd probably get real chilly. Adam talking about chilly. He think about some beans. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All these look like possibilities, guys. I'm not sure. All right, and the last one is the inhabited by poisonous mosquitoes. Those look pretty scary. Yeah. Poisonous mosquito. Because they would land on you and suck the oof out of you. What? Yeah. 
When we go camping, Adam always gets just yeeted on by mosquitoes. I never get bitten. Adam gets bitten every day. Yeah. All over. Yeah, I I do not like it. I try to like get him off. And he goes, Mommy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's the whole You thing. just outrun him. I yep. <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I pretend I'm a mosquito like I'm a big mosquito so they're scared of me right because they recognize I'm real yeah I've seen it I go <laughs> you know how they make that sound yeah so they think I'm one giant mosquito and he takes like a paper towel roll and puts it on his nose no I get a straw yeah <laughs> I'm the king mosquito alright which of these do you think is the answer to the riddle I don't know that Okay, it's probably not this one. This one, probably not it. Okay, there's got to be a clue I wasn't paying attention to earlier. Now, I did notice earlier that, okay, he's on a boat. He got, the, he got some glasses. I did notice that he is going to Africa. Does that make any difference? That's the only detail they gave us before he fell off the boat, man. He's not far from... Wait, can he just swim to the mainland? Mm. I'm a genius. That's the answer. He can just swim. Maybe, but what if there's sharks? It doesn't say there's sharks. I'll give you a hint. The answer is not that he could swim. It's one of the four islands. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, see if you can solve this before Justin. Dude, this is going to be such a dumb answer. I, I know it's going to be a dumb answer. I can already tell. It's going to be so troll, dude. I'm thinking if he was off to Africa, I think that's this is the only hint that the, the video has given us. So I got to use it. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If he's going to Africa. He probably has like supplies that would prepare him for a trip to Africa. Interesting, but it is just one of the answers and there's no real trick. Like he doesn't have something that you don't think he has. Well, what if he has like bug spray, right? Because that- He, he does not have that. Like there's no secret ingredient that he has. It's just one of the islands that you have to pick. So does it have anything to do with this hint about Africa? Or is that Maybe, because he's in the middle of a tropical ocean. But I don't know. That's up for Justin to solve. Guys, this might be the first time ever stumped, guys. I actually don't know. Second has a volcano, ice and snow, mosquitoes. I think he has bug spray, man. Because if you have bug spray, you're fine here. The mosquitoes won't bite you. All right, you want to lock that in? Yeah, I have to. I don't have any other answers. I think it's time to lock it in. All right, I'm going to lock in the fourth one. These little bugs can't get him. Right. He's all good. All right, Adam. If it's a silly answer, I will be upset. All right, he's in the middle of the tropical ocean. Okay. Let's see what the answer is. Don't tell me it's what I... John should choose the third island. Okay. There can't be an icy island near Africa. What do you mean? Because it's what? like 100 degrees there. What do you mean there can't be? It said there was one. <laughs> yeah, but it, it doesn't exist. There's so no there's no island there. So you can't stay there. No, it melts. It's just a normal island. Why did it say it was icy? Justin got stumped, and we're going to move on I, to the next riddle no! right now. Okay, several guys were plotting to throw pink oof into the school pool. Okay, like pink hair dye or something. Yeah, they're going to dye the pool pink. Okay, they're going to put pink oof in the school pool. Okay, that's, don't do that ever, guys. Don't. Then Jackson found out. Jackson, they had set a plan and a time. They wrote it all down in their notebook. Wow. Okay, they left their notebook. Jackson managed to sneak a peek at the notebook. Jackson got a tattle. He looked like you, bro. Jackson is a tattletale. Jackson looks like you. A little tattletale. Just one problem. Hmm. It was all encrypted. Oh, man. Is this another one where I got to decode something with my brain? At what time is the prank? It's obviously at 423. Uh, yeah, obviously done. <laughs> Lucky day. What about all the rest of the stuff? It's useless. They were just scribbling. They're probably playing Scrabble. So Jackson is trying to find some proof that these boys were being naughty. He's got to try to crack the code, and then he can. It says 4:23 at 14 seconds. 
<laughs> but what about all the other letters? I don't care! I'll give you a hint. You're mm. wrong. That first... <laughs> <laughs> that first riddle was so troll and so dumb. I, I can't even process this one, dude. This There's one... There's no icy island next to Africa. Are you serious? That was the answer to the first... I still haven't gotten over that. This one does make logical sense. You said the first one, there was no tricks. You said that one made logical sense. It didn't make any sense. Because there's no icy island it in Africa. It said there was an icy island there. <laughs> that was one of the choices. That's why it's a riddle. That's not a riddle, dude. That's a troll. At what time is the prank? 423 at 14 seconds. I'm locking that in. I'm not dummy. Okay, but... You have to uh, decrypt all the other texts. God, decrypt it. I gotta go in to make tricks. Yes. What does this text mean? Gama, Batui, Apav, all that stuff. You really said that, bro? What? You said booty? No, I said Batoy. Uh, <laughs> yo, I we all heard you. <laughs> that clip back. Gama, Batui. You did. No. You did say it. Yeah, we played the clip back. You said it. I'll give you a hint. The text does have something to do with the answer. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Mm. All right, all right. You're lying to me. If you don't want to get the prize at the end, I'm trying to help you get this one right. 423 at 14 seconds. We're going to get hair, makeup, accessories. <laughs> Maybe all letters stand for something. Maybe. Go home, Aiden MacArthur. Go home. I am home. No, it's my room. <laughs> how, do the, how, how does this have anything to do with it? <gasps> no way. They're numbers. <laughs> They're numbers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven. Seven. It's a seven. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Seven, eight. Eight. Okay. I'm not going to make it to M. <laughs> so you do M. I know A is A is one. You do M. Work on that one. And okay. then it's all numbers. And when you add them up, you probably get the time. Okay. <laughs> A-C-1-2-A-C-9-4-A-1-L-M-A. I think it's 13 for M, but I'm not uh, a lot sure. I give up on this one. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The numbers have to be used on the letters. What? Guys, let me know in the comments how to do this. Because I'm a genius spy hacker and I stopped Sir Hacks a lot. I'm going to get this. All right. The numbers used on the letters. 40. Four, two, three, one, four. Four, two. Oh, it's the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four, two. It's the second letter. A T at. All right. At three. O oh, at toe. What? Atone. Atone. They're gonna atone for what <laughs> they've done. Ah, uh, you're close. A T O N four D. No. A T. O N E. What does that spell? Atone. What yeah. else does you know it what spell? It means to atone, Adam. Yes, but isn't there something in the in the numbers at the top? Isn't there like a space? It's four twenty three, at fourteen seconds. I think you almost had it, and then you just completely got it wrong. No. <laughs> There's a space after the two A T at space one. What does that spell? It spells at one. What is that? They're like, oh, the time? They're going to do it at one? At one. Yeah. One is the time. Wow. They couldn't have just written down the number one? <laughs> no, because then it wouldn't have been encrypted. You're right. This is max level encryption. I think this is how Google works. Exactly. So check this out, guys. At 1 p.m. Eww. Wow! Eww. Justin Eww. got it, and all the boys got caught. Bro, he really tattled on him, bro. Yeah, so Justin got that one correct. Let's move on to the next riddle. Okay, three prisoners are locked in a cell, okay? All right. The only chance to escape is through the window high above. This one's tricky, guys. Can climb out the window? Uh, hopefully. Okay. They're gonna escape. Okay, the prisoners stand on each other's shoulders. That's what I was gonna say. They should do that. Uh huh. Did they make it? But the one that is on top lacks a few inches to reach the window. Okay, they should all just stand on tippy toes. Done. Solved it. Oh, <laughs> tippy toes is a good idea. Yep, I think I got it. Did I get it? 
Mm, I don't know. The one that is on top likes a few inches to reach the window. What should they do? Tippy toes, I just said. Done. Tippy toes is a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. But if you were to tippy toe, I don't think it would reach all the way to the window. Yeah, it would. If they all did, they just had a few inches. Yeah, but tippy toes only gives you like a half an inch of, of height. Yeah, but if they do, all do it, then it's lots of inches. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You want to lock in? They should go on tippy toes. I mean, am I wrong? Mm. Maybe they could yeet. They could throw one guy up there. That's an interesting like idea. A team toss, you know what I mean? That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Do they have anything else in the cell they could use? There is nothing mm. else in the cell they can use, and the arms are just a little bit too short. This one's real tricky, guys. It involves some crazy math logic. I know. What I'm is genius? It? What is it? They should change the order they're standing. Why? Because, like, I got a huge brain, dude. Like, one guy got long arms. Uh-huh. The person with the longest arms should stand on top, because then they can reach further. That's it! I got it! Wow! So you guys can see... <laughs> you guys can see if the person with the longest arms is on top, they can actually reach further. I know that's true, because when we go to the store, Adam always wants to grab stuff from the top shelf, and I have to do it for him. Yeah, I have to give Justin a piggyback ride. No, I just grab it for you. Right. You can't reach. Right. Because you're sitting in the cart. And sometimes I give leash. you piggyback rides. On the leash. What? Sometimes. You don't give me piggyback rides. <laughs> Your mom does. <laughs> you can't carry me. All right, guys. Check this out. I'm too thick. Here's the answer. The tallest person should stand on top. Oh, the tallest person? They because fall. then they can reach up and reach the window. That's a. Hey, see, my brain is huge. I'm just messing around. Ha <laughs> ha, I got them. Two out of three. Let's, Let's move on. Okay, last summer, I decided to go camping. Another camping riddle, okay? Nice. In a dark forest all by myself. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Oh, but they got a camera. I took pictures of trees and nature all day. Oh, cool. The iPhone's gonna oof. It's gonna run out of battery. And in the evening, I put up my little tent. Wow. Okay, and went to sleep. So they're camping all by themselves. That's dangerous. I slept so well. Okay. That's good. Well, this seems nice. When I got home, I printed the photos and saw something creepy. What? Uh-oh. Can you see what's wrong here? What's wrong, bro? So one of these photos is creepy. Okay, what is that? A flower? Okay. Okay, it's a bird. What's this? What's it eating? Maybe a loaf of bread or something. We gotta keep looking. I think that's some oof. <laughs> All right, let's see the other pictures. Which of these is a creepy picture, guys? Hey, this is stars. All right, it looks like there's a picture of the dinner or something. Well, they had fries yeah, out there. Yeah, where'd you get fries? Wow. This is the creepy one, because that means Ronald McDonald was watching you. Wow, which wouldn't even be that bad. Yeah, it'll be fine with me. Yeah, was... that's what happened in your dream. Is that the one, that's the creepy one? Why she got fries? We gotta look at all of them. Oh, she got more? Okay, here she is waking up. All right. Bro. And let's see, okay, so. Can you see what's wrong here? So one of these photos is super creepy. This this bird, dude. I know what kind of bird that is. Squaw! Because I go bird watching with Adam's mom. These kinds of birds eat oof. Really? Yeah. Like oof things? Yeah. Like animals? Yeah. This is an oof person, bro. Oh! I don't know if that's real or not, guys. What do you mean? That is real. That's what those birds do. They eat oof. Maybe. Maybe. That's not the one? I don't think it's that. I think that's just a rock. Does it have to do with the fry? That's not a rock, dude. Does that look anything like Rocky? Maybe it maybe anything, it's maybe it's like, anything at all like Rocky. May, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Alright. That's oof. The middle photo. Somebody oofed in the river and the bird is in the oof. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. Does it have anything to do with the fries? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. What? Maybe it might just be her dinner. It's not these two. This is a butterfly and this is some stars. Easy. Right. This one a little bit creepy because I don't remember her with some fries. I would have remembered that because yeah. I know fries when I see them. Yeah. Now imagine you're all alone taking photos in the campsite. What photo would creep you out if you saw it? This one, because that's a oofed body. Or maybe it's just a log or something. It's not. Birds don't eat logs. Yeah, but wood eaters do. Maybe the bird was just looking for bugs on the log, because birds eat bugs. Okay, reasonable. 
Now we're left with two. Okay. Here's the campfire with fries. Here's the campfire with the person. Maybe we gotta look at these close up. Let's go back to the full screens. Maybe there's some secrets in them. I already knew the answer a long time ago. I was just messing with you. What? Which one is it then? It's either the bird on the oof or it's this one. Why is this one creepy? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Adam wants me to think, but I'm too smart, bro. What? If she's there, who took the picture? Oh! oh! Someone was watching her! Oh! That is correct! But really? I didn't think that was the answer, because what if she just took a selfie? Like she did a selfie timer. Uh, I guess, yeah. You do that all the time. But the camera she had wasn't a phone, was it? Yeah, it was like was an old it? school it was camera. A phone. No, it wasn't. It was literally a phone. Oh. Well, I don't know. Hey, you do that all the time. Yeah, I like taking photos with Boxy and all the plushies. And it puts the, the camera on like a tripod and he puts a timer and then he goes there. He'll take a photo with his friends like this and then he'll send them to me and say, look, I have friends. Yep. And he'll say, look how popular I am. Yeah, I'll take them with the plushies because I love the plushies. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what the answer is. I know, I know it's this one. But that's not real. It's, the real one is this. That's the answer. The crow oof. Isn't that creepier if you were camping and there was someone oofed? That would be creepy. Yep. All I see are great photos. Yeah, that's what you think. Check out this one. <gasps> well, which one is it? Let's go. Someone took a photo of me or you took a selfie timer. But uh, she doesn't remember taking the photo, so it must have been someone else. How would someone have taken her phone and taken a photo and put it back? Exactly, that's why it's creepy. It must have been like Slender Man or something. What? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, final riddle. Max was always interested in his weird neighbor's house. That looks like the haunted mansion where the plushies met Ghosty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's a haunted abandoned house. Don't go in there, Max. Yeah. When he wasn't home, Max decided to break into his... Okay, I just told you mm. not to do that. Uh-oh, they broke into the haunted house. All rooms look strange and frightening. Well, probably because it's a haunted house. But Max kept on searching the house. Bad idea. Okay, why are you doing this, Max? When he entered the room, the door slammed shut on its own. <gasps> Uh-oh. You're oofed. Goodbye, Max. He found himself in the hall with four doors. There's four doors? Yep. Okay. A zombie! The first one's a zombie. There's zombies? Yep. What's behind the next door? A block equipped with a motion sensor. It will crush you if you enter the room. Yeah. What? A dark room with no exit. What? So you can't leave through there. A laser blaster with motion sensor. <laughs> okay. Which door should Max choose? <laughs> now. Guys, we are at the fifth and final riddle. This one in particular is very hard, and I am almost sure it will make Justin upset. Why would you, <laughs> okay, well then why would you make me do it? Cause it's funny. Funny to see me get upset? Oh yeah, definitely. Like 100%. I, I would be shocked. Come on, baby boxy diapy. First time. I'm trying to fix it. There we go. He's back. You'd be shocked. What? I would be shocked if you get this one right. Now, I'll give you a hint. The answer is you have to use multiple of the doors. What? That's the only hint I'll give you. <laughs> All right. So, Justin, how would you escape out of here? I would go in this one. There's a door. It, you just turn on the lights, and then you can see your way out. But it says there's no exit through that door. Okay, so that one's just useless. Okay, maybe. Okay. These both have motion sensors. Right. I think he should throw something in the rooms and then it'll trigger the motion sensor to go off and he could go through. That's an interesting idea. Duh, big brain. Like his shoes? Yeah, maybe. If he had the Likey Box plushies, he could send them in. But then they would get oofed. No, they would get squished, and they like getting squished. Oh, but what about the lasers? Lasers can't hurt rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's an interesting idea. I like that. I have that laser pointer your mom gives me that I'm supposed to put on the floor and you run around and chase after. Yeah. Sometimes I accidentally point at Rocky and he doesn't mind. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Adam chases that thing around on the ground for hours. Yeah, it's fun. I never catch it though. It always is just like Going too fast. Yeah. I'll let him catch it. He goes, he catches it. He catches it and he'll open it and it's gone. Okay, I just turn it off. <laughs> you turned it off? Wait, what? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, it gets him every time. Man. It gets him every time. <laughs> okay, guys, so the answer, I'll give you a hint. You have to use a total of three doors. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is a frustrating riddle. 
but one. Oh, right. And the one about the iceberg next to Africa was not frustrating. These are all frustrating. And the girl who took a selfie on a timer and said, somebody watching me. No, no, you just took a selfie with a timer. All right, all right. What do you think the answer is? I think he's got to throw something in here. It goes pew, pew, pew. And then he runs through there. I think that's it. You but what if the lasers stay on? What? Like, what if the lasers are just constantly now on if you okay. activate okay. them? Okay, you throw something in here, it goes smush, and then run through there. That's what I would do. But what if the block goes back up and then just keeps smushing? Run while it's going back up. You think you could run quick enough to avoid smush? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, that's oh, yeah. interesting. That's what I would do. What would you do? Mm, I don't know, because I already know the answer, so I, I can't tell you. What are you whispering to Foxy? Foxy says, what does the zombie have to do with anything, Aiden? Well, maybe the zombie has something to do with the answer. What? I don't know. You give me a hint? I'll give you a hint. You do have to end up going into the zombie's room to escape. What? Yeah. You gotta go and be friends with the zombie. That makes sense. You go, brains. Oh, yeah, weren't the friends. plushies friends of the zombie? What? Don't mm. leak that. Oh. I, how dare you leak that? Oh. What are you talking about? I don't know. You really don't. No, you really don't. That's top secret classified. You you hacked into my computer, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Don't hack Jesse's computer, Aiden. Oh, sorry, Foxy. Don't. It's not fair. Do you know the answer to the not riddle? Fair. Once we hacked, because we reverse hacked Adam's computer, it's just a bunch of pictures of <laughs> and cows on it. Yeah. There's nothing valuable on that computer. Right. My computer had all kinds of crazy secrets about the plushies adventures. Don't leak it. All right. I have no idea what's going on. I give up. I give up and I quit. All right. I think he throws something and runs. That's, I'm locking it in. Let's lock it in. Let's see what the answer is. What? How does that have to do with the zombie, dude? Hey. It's real tricky, guys. It's going to be a troll answer. I already know. Maybe. I already know it's going to be troll. Okay. <laughs> Max has to open door two and lure the zombie out. <laughs> what? He must hide behind door three. <laughs> what? So he's hiding in the dark room. When the zombie is smushed. Why would the zombie go in there? Because he probably thought that the human was in that room. Why That's would the, he think that? Because it's the only other open door. And he got a zombie brain. Then the zombie gets smushed, turns to oof, and then he can escape through the zombie door. That is the worst riddle I've ever seen. Guys, <laughs> make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LakeyBoxShop.com and let us know how many of these riddles you were able to get right. That is, that makes no sense, bro. But I, I still got three right. You got three right, which means we get to head to LankyBoxShop.com real quick. Oh, man, we got the new baby plushie collection was just released, guys. Oh, look at them. Wow, glow-in-the-dark baby ghosty, the bundle. Look at them. Hey, we got Milky just dancing because Milky got a, a voice box. You know? Yeah. Hey, Foxy doing the Foxy dance. You get to pick anything you want on here to have. Bro, this is lit. And I can get the new hoodies. Right. The new hoodies are so cool. I need to wear the Rocky hoodie. I've been wearing the Foxy one so much. The Rocky one is sick. The ghosty one glows in the dark. The hood and the eyes glow in the dark. This is lit, bro. I'm getting the bundle. The whole bundle? Get the whole bundle. You said I get whatever I wanted. Wow. All right, guys. Leave a like and subscribe. And go check out LankyBoxShop.com so you get your own Lanky Box bro, merch. Bro, I'll be honest. I, I deserve a prize because those riddles were ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. Those riddles were ridiculous. Well, what do you want to do now? Well, we came in here and solved some tough riddles. <laughs> We're gonna go eat a sandwich with some pickles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>